Namaskaram to everybody. I came here to participate in the election program. I visited two constituencies yesterday. Today I thought it is better to meet all my press friends so that the message should go what is going in the country regarding the elections because I traveled nearly some 10, 12 states where we are getting very good response from the public, from the voters and uh, I hope the whatever the undercurrent I can see it is not visible but Modi ji afraid of this invisible voters who will come out in the elections. That's why Modi ji always criticizing Congress. If Congress is nothing, why should he bother? He says, Abke ba, char so pa. If you have got 400 this time, but you are moving 2014 and 2019 more than that, you are working. If you have got that much of confidence and numbers, why you are taking corrupt people in your party? You say one side that Modi never tolerate corruption. Then you purchase nearly, or I can say instead of purchasing, you loot nearly 444 MLAs throughout country, irrespective of parties which they belong. Then 23 big people, the contractors, the chief ministers, the others, and as soon as they join BJP, they become clean. As long as they were with Congress or other opposition parties, they were very corrupt. I am not able to understand a man who ruled nearly 30, 10 years in this country as a Prime Minister and nearly 13 and a half years as a Chief Minister he is not able to distinguish himself what is corruption and who is good, who is bad, he can't choose. Then I say it is unfortunate to the country such a man is ruling. Even he is acting like a petty politician. Petty politician like what he said earlier, what he said 2019 election, and what he is telling now. He has forgotten everything. He said, two crore job every year I will give youths. <laughs> Where is that two crores? Whether we are lying or Prime Minister lying, you have to judge. Because the Kerala is a state, literally, literally number one in the country. And all, most of the intellectuals, they come from Kerala. And more or less, the Kerala influence will be always there in the country's politics. You know the very well, I, I need not explain about that. 
in spite of that here also he comes and tells lies where the people are politically aware politically intelligent than gujarat or other places he here he comes here he also bluffed i will give 15 lakhs to every family bring i will bring black money what congress has kept outside where is that money there is that 15 lakhs the next election he said my kisano ki aamdan mein double karunga has it done where is the double income for kisan this is also lie when i say modi ji you are a liar then people say why this karge ji is telling the a prime minister a liar like this but because these are the facts you can't hide and now again he is telling modi's guarantee what is modi's guarantee same thing not to implement whatever promise he gives that is the guarantee <laughs> next what he says i any political leader says that i we are in congress i can't say i am president i can't say i alone can implement i will do this my party will do it my party programs will do it my manifesto will be implemented together but he always says a modi ki guarantee modi ki guarantee to fail ho gayi jo bole wo nahi kar sake but now still he continued he is so much frustrated even he is telling the census if you do on the basis of caste creed or something he is telling that the congress wants take the money from you people practically he said hindus take the money your gold they will assess your land they will assess and that they will give to the people who have got more children muslims has he said or not that's why i request you i appeal to you you highlight such things to save the country to save the democracy to save the constitution he says openly muslims have got more children are i have got five children what can i do my father said you are the only man survived in my family because my mother died in that nizam state uh, some liberation movement my uncle died my sister died and all my five family member died i am the only fellow who survived in that my father was working in some farm from there people told your house is burning you are here then he came and see that entire house was burned as is i was playing somewhere on the ground i was 6 years old 6 years then he thought how to save my he took me to gulbarga i am from bidar then he moved this place that place ultimately he got employment in textile mill as a worker in carding department so we faced so many such things and today modi is telling in the name of religion your property will be taken away those who have got more children then my father also said you are the only son to me i want more children he said because i wanted i myself and my wife both were going for operation then i was a uh, minister for at that time uh, uh, education minister in 76 then my father said you are the only man survived in my family please don't do 
operate, don't get operated. If you are not incapable, if you are not capable to feed them, I will work and feed them. So you don't stop let, uh, getting children. He said openly and he prevented me like that. So I ultimately got five children. Then I said, it is enough now. I requested my father, stop here. Uh, don't ask me further to produce children. I, then it is all for this purpose we have done. That in future we are getting uh, some property. This type of imagination. Lalu Prasad has got eight night. Gandhi's family has got several children. Dr. Ambedkar is a 14th child of his family. If you connect everything to the religion and if you want to destroy the country by telling like this and dividing the communities in the name of religion, this is very, very bad. I think my Prime Minister should read more about the history of the country and also how to keep the country united like what Jawaharlal Nehruji did, what our constitution says. But unfortunately, whatever he says, he never allows others. I think he might, have, whether you have met him or not in press conference, I don't know, but he never allows even press people to talk one to one, take the questions and reply. So this is the fate of our Prime Minister. He is telling like that. And again, uh, I told corruption. Most corrupt people he has taken and they are sitting on the lap. And this I raised in uh, Rajya Sabha. Oh, Rajya Sabha members. Uh, maybe knowing it, I asked Mr. Modi ji, this uh, Deva Gauda was very, always he used to speak uh, secular, 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 but you have taken to him and how this 91 year old man, Deva Gauda was also sitting, I asked, at the age of 91, you are moving towards uh, BJP. Earlier you yourself told, I am secular, if I can be born in next, uh, what they say, next life, rebirth, I should, I should take birth in Muslim community, he said, Muslim, you, you take out. And such a man went and sitting on the lap of, uh, lap of um, Mr. Uh, Modi. And Modi was laughing when I said like this. See, such people are they not committed to ideology. Yes, we are committed. Whatever we say, we will do it. Wherever it is not possible, we will explain to the people, these are the difficulties, we will do next, like that. And all the nice schemes. What guarantee we gave, now he is repeating. Otherwise, guarantee word was not followed. guarantee. We said, first, five guarantee in Himachal. Then we said, five guarantee in Karnataka. Five guarantee in Telangana. Six guarantee in Telangana. Like that, we said guarantee and we implemented it. We gave benefit to the people, in spite of that, at that time, same Modi said, these are, Leodis are rare, huh? Revdi, he said. Then which guarantee you are coming with, which are those Revdis you are telling? When we do, it's all Revdis. When you are announcing, what is that? So, Modi always is uh, doing one side and uh, telling other things.
and even he is taking corrupt people in his party and uh, he is so expert. I learned that, I experienced, in a, my house is also small washing machine. So in even laundries there will be a big washing machines. But usually people to clean the cloth, all our lungis, dhotis, shirt, pant, they clean it. <laughs> but uh, Modi has got and Shah has got very big washing machine. It cleans the human being. Corrupt people it cleans. You imagine the people who say they, they become clean when they go to their laundry and when they come out from that laundry they will become clean. This is the, this is the same. This type of uh, uh, statements he make. No, now they are all right. As long as they were in Congress, TMC, RJD, other parties, and even he threatened Hemant Soren, who is a scheduled tribe man. Only one scheduled tribe man is. Hemant Soran, a chief minister. He is also put in jail. His rival also put in jail. And without any reason, they seized our account, 135 crores, for 14 lakhs. In return, we did not, uh, we did not file, they say, 14 lakhs you have not shown in the account. Then, the Modi is coming. Because suddenly people are diverted your attention to that words. That's why. So, he said like this. Therefore, my friends, whatever promises he is giving and uh, whatever he is telling, it's everything is fraud and he tells one thing and he same uh, uh, he never practiced in his life. Openly he says, my prashtachariyon ko nahi san. Aray bhai prashtachariyon ko ap san nahi karenge. Wo prashtachari toh tumhare saath hai. Some people have become chief ministers, some ministers, some Raj Sabha members. How you allowed them? This is the type of Modi's version of Prashtachar. Next, I want to tell you the main thing is we are what we are fighting unemployment. Our main target are to achieve employment, but he is not caring for employment. He is not speaking about employment. If I say, my bhuka hu, oh bhuka hai, to my dukan se kek lake de ta This is his version, always he speaks ulta, so people should forget. And also, one side employment, whatever he promised, he did not give. Second, inflation, so high, even I can get you figure and supply. See, he himself said, sabka saath, sabka vikas. But he did sabka satyanas. Where is sabka vikas? Petrol gone up. You compare 2014, uh, then 14 to now. Diesel, petrol, gas, and uh, other as diesel, other essential commodities also, whether auto, oil, poor dal, everything. But still, they claim, and here, a man, we have exported uh, one candidate to your place. Who is he? 
Chandrasekhar. Rajiv Chandrasekhar, we have exported because he did very, very good work there. So, we thought that he will do what Kerala, because Kerala people have always done very good work in all, whether it is literature, whether it is uh, education, health, everything, whether Congress party was also in power, they did a lot like that. But Kerala is supposed to be, now I don't know what happened in this uh, five years period, but earlier when you, I used to come here for scrutiny, uh, chairman and other things I saw. Did. And people used to refer Kerala usually as an ideal one. But Chandrasekhar never made any ideal or any good thing in Karnataka. In 18 years of his uh, period, you show me any one this uh, uh, work contribution to Karnataka. Therefore, the Karnataka people said, this is enough. Please, you go from this place and work in your homeland so that you show your skill, everything there, and people, whether appreciate or not, it will be seen. Such <coughs> means, such people, they have put here. Against whom? Against Tharu. Tarur is nationally famed, internationally famed, and also a literary figure. He makes very good speeches in parliament, we see. Whenever I, I was leader, he was also member. Then whenever foreign uh, affairs comes, we used to request him to speak, you are, because you know many things and foreign affairs regarding that. He will not instead of speaking on social welfare and other things, better we can utilize in foreign affairs. So he used to speak nicely and he was strength to our party. That much I can tell because I was leader for five years in Lok Sabha and three years in Raj Sabha and in the state I was 20 years as, sorry, 10 years as uh, opposition leader. So, I have got at least uh, all the information. So, he worked there. Whatever job you give, he used to speak. And even on economics, finance, all these things. Such a candidate is ours. And now you have to choose an 18 year service man from Karnataka or from uh, Kerala who has brought credit to the Kerala and as well as to the party also. That's why I... Uh, other candidate, our UDF candidate, uh, Adur Prakash. Uh, Artingal. So he is also here. Our candidates all are best because they are service motors. They only not, they don't depend only on religion. They depend on work. They say that we have done this work, please vote. Not like Modi. For Modi everything he refers to God. So, our people, they work on the ground. And ground level working, that's why I am proud. My Congress party the best in the country here. Cater best. They fight. When they fight with leftists and others, you think, and they come to power often here, think that how much work they are doing. So I congratulate our party here, party heads, and also other leaders who are bringing back, I think, 20 seats or 20? 20. 20. 20 seats, definitely 20 seats we will win. One or may miss here and there, but 20 out of 20 we are getting and this is uh, the target of our party and that too 
Rahul Gandhi ji is also contesting from Kerala. So why not? Why not means Kerala. No? <laughs> so he is also con so all more stalwarts are here, and they work for the party. I have seen whatever good work if they want to get it done from central government, they together goes. For when I was railway minister, together used to come. And also when I was rail, railway minister, labor minister, they fight for copies and then other uh, the crops which are produced in Kerala. For that, for price raising, MSP. MSP, everything. And they won't leave any stone unturned without achieving some result. They go once, twice, thrice. That is the Congress party MPs are doing and uh, still and with United. So, okay. Yeah. So, the you should put a request the, uh, the is vote, vote for Shashi and Adur Prakash. These are all the other UDF candidates who are giving good results and uh, we are with them and we will definitely Thiruvanthapuram uh, what usually we call Trivendram, Trivendram but Trivanthapuram now so I appeal all the people of and voters vote for our Shashi Tharoor and also Prakash so that we will get some strength and uh, they are Useful people, I am telling you, not other things. Uh, this is our, whatever I felt I spoken. So, thank you very much for your cooperation with this. Thank Sakhi, you. Sakhi ji, Prime Minister is in an ultra communal mode now. And uh, is he facing a debacle in the first two places? Hmm. And how are you going to defend this polarization? Which polarization? Prime Minister's communal polarization. He's trying to. No, he is always. He won his election 2014 polarizing that Gujarat incidents and other things. In 19 also he said several things. And now also he is. Even he is for voting, say, he is telling that your Mangal Sutra will not be saved. We ruled 55 years. Have you heard anything from Congress? Yes, we implemented land reforms, bonded labor act, bank nationalization. Such progressive uh, ideas and progressive programs we took in the interest of public. And public were very happy. Kariji, uh, this uh, de redistribution of wealth and inheritance of uh, you know properties, this has become a big uh, you know a big discussion point after Prime Minister's speech. And yesterday also Priyanka Gandhi also said same. That my my mother has you know sacrificed her mother to serve this country. So uh, what is the Congress official stand on this redistribution? Of no, wealth? you are wrongly interpreted. See. The family which has given its wealth to the country in China war and uh, other wealth to the country, even their house was given to Congress office. So in that context, is it for everything, kindly don't, I request Modi and including other his friends. Don't twist the matter. We, whatever necessary, we sacrificed and even now we have given our wealth. Indira Gandhi has given, Sonia Gandhi has given, and uh, 
they contributed lot even motilal uh, jawarlal nehru is he gave his house to anand anand bhavan in alabad see this is our sacrifice we are telling you what is your sacrifice not a single man of bjp was participated in the freedom movement they don't have any face but how people are tolerating i am also not able to understand tell me anything Pardon? Will expect India like Spain? Yeah, that's why we are trying. <laughs> you have got any doubt? Definitely, we'll stop him from coming to power. That is our aim. That's why, though I am 82, I am moving daily three or four meetings in the states because people are with us. It is they are invisible voters are with us. Afraid of. coming out talking because of otherwise they will ed will come if you are good speaker if you are a good writer if you are a good journalist to they threaten them also many people were put in jail election commission election commission has been continuously keeping <coughs> silence on prime minister narendra modi's remarks so what would be congress stand on that selection is his election is also his so he always you whenever election comes he changes the election commission members earlier lavasa he was changed now he asked to that one more uh, man he resigned he put somebody else to listen to him that is his habit in election commission he interferes in all the autonomous bodies which are constitutionally constituted or autonomous body we have got uh, authority self authority he destroying them he is using you see even vice chancellors how he appoints see education syllabus how he does and how he appoints even joint secretaries whatever joint secretaries on contract basis he takes first from rss then he regularizes them this is modus operandi of modi so are you suggesting that europe have trust in election commission election are you suggesting that europe have trust in i am not suggesting you asked me how is there i told so you are saying that there is no level playing field in this 100% oh like that once uh, our uh, rahul gandhi ji also told you are allowing us to play cricket and if the pitch you take and uh, put a gadde what the what do you call holes. holes and ask me to play and ball will it be right like that only there is no level playing ground money is with him corporate is with him he is not allowing others to at least collect as per rule donations whatever donations we have collected that also is asked not to release so is it level playing he is destroying and you see if if he wins this with 400 or 500 what he says fortunately he never said 600 because our strength is only 543 huh? so luckily he did not say is bar 600 par he never said thank you ंग 
uh, his ideas in our mouth. Why you are propagating? He is just for votes. He is playing all this game. You take it from me. And you should also realize. The Kerala Chief Minister, the Kerala Chief Minister, the Kerala Chief Minister, whom you are fighting, and who is your main enemy in Kerala? Is it BJP or CPM? Our uh, state uh, chief and our CLP leader here, they will probably the Kerala, reply. The Kerala Chief Minister is attacking you personally, saying that you didn't take the question of CAA. That does. You no. laughed at the people and uh, then you are speaking about CA. This is what Say, he said. that is already Chidambaram has answered. My party people have answered several times. I think they again and again talking the same thing. Is not. Personally, attacking you. personally attacking, its reply will be given appropriately.